Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Well, they titled it Kim and Usman Fight About Adoption. Oh, this is going to be great. They fight about adopting his nephew? What could possibly go wrong? What are they going to be arguing about? No, seriously, what are they going to be arguing about? I thought they agreed on this. But this is 90 Day Fiance. They can't agree to anything. I don't watch these before I talk shit about them, so if it's not good, it's TLC's fault. But this has fight in the title. So we might see him hit her. Let's find out. But before we do, this episode is sponsored by you guys. You guys over on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. You guys truly help make this shit possible because YouTube fucking hates swears, dude. That's why most YouTubers like mute and bleep out swears. When I hear a bleep noise, I genuinely get so angry. Like everybody swears. I don't get what's wrong with it. They're very good describing words. It's never been a problem in my life. And if I was to, like, censor myself for money, that would go against everything I believe in, pretty much. Like, that will never happen. Unless TLC hires me to be their tell-all host, I won't say cunt on the show. There, they could bleep it out if they want. That's their show. Hire me. But since they're not going to, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But let's see if I'm worth it. I was in the bathroom getting ready... And Usman started, like, nagging me about not cleaning up the room, like, not putting his shoes away. And that kind of escalated. Yeah, that kind of escalated to you cleaning the room, right? What are you doing? It's the man of the house. Men don't clean. Pick the fucking shoes up. How did him telling her to clean escalate into an adoption argument? Why am I questioning it when I could just press play? And then it was just little things, like talking about my weight. They're talking about how I'm going to need a tummy tuck. You're going to need more than a tummy tuck. You're going to need exercise. I don't know if it was stress. I don't know if it was tension. I think the adoption thing was in this. I think meeting Jamal and the stress from that. And I think it just all came to a head. Right now, we really need to talk about our relationship issues, our communication issues, because I'm not feeling too respected right now. You shouldn't. You're on reality television. Talking to a camera about how you need to have a conversation with your man because he called you fat. I said, I'm very sorry. I, I was doing that and I was I was laughing. But it doesn't sound like you're playing. And then everything, oh, I don't pick up the room right. I don't dress right. My stomach's too big. I mean, Man, those must hurt because they're so true. She probably doesn't clean the room right. And her tummy is too big. Like, she hasn't thought that about herself before. I mean, he shouldn't say it. You know, he should be like, hey, we should work out together. Because I care about your health. Why are you even with me? And I shouldn't have to feel that way. I have to do all this to conform to you. What the what are you doing for me? Uh, he's a SoundCloud rapper. What doesn't he do for you? You're talking to Soulja Boy right now, okay? Watch the fucking tone. Clean up the room. I don't care if you cry while you do it, as long as it gets clean. Seriously. I'm sitting here thinking about adopting a baby, but you can't even hold a conversation with me. We don't even have sex. <laughs> you guys don't fuck? She's married to a young man, and he doesn't want to have sex with her. Come on, Kimbali. You have lived on this earth quite a long time. You should know by now that means he doesn't fucking like you. He's not attracted to you whatsoever. Not even with his eyes closed. Not even when you take out your dentures and gum him to death. I'm tired of feeling like I'm not enough. You know, you're not the one traveling to come down here to... To sacrifice all I'm sacrificing. Stop giving me that as an excuse, please. Because at this point... All I'm asking you for... I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, you cannot come here and start telling me all that. From now... I can say, of, first of I'm all, first of all, let me tell you something. I can say whatever the f I want to say because I'm a grown-ass woman. Really? You didn't sound like a grown-ass woman 15 seconds ago when you were crying about him calling you fat. Really? You can say whatever you want? He can say whatever he wants. And you don't like when he does that. You were just telling him what shit to not say to you. These people don't fucking listen to themselves. These people are perfect for television. Wow. How do they find these people? TLC is really good at finding stupid fucking people. Wait, wait, wait. No. Maybe just the majority of people are stupid. So don't ever tell me I can't say I have a right to be heard. Like, I'm here. I'm making all these decisions, you know, based on, or we're making all these decisions, life-changing decisions, you know? I would like respect. I don't think I'm asking for too much. This dude has two phones? Oh, this guy's cheating. A lot. Even though I know they're gonna have, like, a, a polygamous relationship, uh, they're not. He can't just go off fucking whoever he wants. I'm not saying every guy with two phones is cheating. Just the majority. It's very likely.
I'm thinking about adopting a child with you. Just put your phone down and talk to me. I did put one down. I had the other one in my hand. Which one can I look at while you talk? You're not adopting. I'm actually adopting. Yeah, and it, but it's still changing my Fine, life. Then, so and then, and then every little, and then on the side note of that. Shh, 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 shut the fuck up. What did he mean by you're not adopting, I'm adopting? Well, okay, you're signing the paperwork, but you're both parenting. They should adopt his nephew and just leave him at his uncle's house. Yeah, can you watch my kid for a while? Like, won't that be weird when you need a babysitter and only his parents are available? Like, they're not going to want to see him. That's like when I quit my job at B-Dubs without telling them. I just didn't go back there for a year. It's a huge sacrifice for me, too. To do it's not just you, yes. Don't do it then. It's, no, you're not. Don't, no, no, don't do it then. Oh, my God. Don't That's do not it. what I'm saying. These are Please all... don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want to do it. Don't do it. Hate to say it, kind of on his side with this one, where he's just like super firm with the don't do it. Like, if it's going to be a sacrifice for you and giving you all this stress, then do not fucking adopt my nephew. Please. He doesn't need this. Yeah, a green card would be nice, but you're a bitch. He's like, what sacrifices are you making for me? It just hit me. Um, him not having a fucking child. That's a pretty big sacrifice for somebody who wants a kid. I've been in a situation that nobody's comfortable with. She thinks she do a lot. I think I do a lot. I'm not gonna lie, my first glance, I thought that was a swastika. She thinks I, she sacrificed a lot. I think I sacrificed the most. You can give me a child and I'm even thinking of adopting because of you and you are telling me that you do a lot for me. It can't keep on going this way. I'm glad I came to that conclusion before he said it out loud because to be honest with you, I would feel pretty fucking dumb if he's the one who had to tell me that. But he's right, like what? She just moved away from America? Her kid is grown. But obviously this is for a green card. And I saw in the comments, people were saying this is actually pretty common for like to get like your son into America for a better life. Like somebody who's getting a green card in your family would adopt, which is a pretty easy loophole. It's weird that you could just adopt someone that doesn't need it. Like, that shows you how much people do not fucking care about others. There's kids who need parents. Comparatively, this kid in Africa with two parents is living a great life. Get an orphan. Obviously, I'm just talking out of my ass. I wouldn't get an orphan. Just like I wouldn't get a dog from a shelter. They're not shoes. I don't want them pre-broken in. Let me know what you guys think down below about all this. I feel like I talked seriously about this clip for a little bit too much. But it's so intriguing to me how fucking dumb she is. Oh, you hurt your feelings by calling you fat and it's making you cry? You're fat. How is that even an insult? You should go, oh yeah. <laughs> if somebody offered me a tummy tuck, but like, you paying for it? I'll fucking get one. Dude, I'll get fake tits if you're paying for it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere. I appreciate every single one of you. Did you guys know I do stand-up comedy and post every single set on my second channel, youtube.com slash Mark I have a series called The Comedian that follows me doing open mics to the fucking top. Like, I vlog in the car talking about the set I'm about to do. Then I show the entire set. Then I podcast breaking down how the set went. I think a lot of people are interested what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy. And I don't think anybody's ever documented an entire stand-up career before. Like, you get to see open mic one to episode 134 I just posted. But everything, honestly, with stand-up is going so great. I just did my second paid gig last night. It was after an open mic that I run with a bunch of great friends I have that I met through stand-up comedy. And we all got booked that night. And it was, like, such a cool feeling to just go up with your homies go from one spot to another spot to do comedy and get paid for it. I think it's really cool. And I think it's like cool to see it develop and shit like that. Like I know for a fact I'm going to make it and shit like that. Like I already have the proof of concept with this channel of being funny. I'm just getting better every single time with being on stage. But like, even if it didn't work out, I would still be happy that I'm documenting the entire thing just so I could look back at it like five years from now. Like it's not for the views. It's for the legacy type shit. Cause like 10 years from now, it'll be crazy to see the beginning. I know that was a super long outro. Just really happy with how everything's going and shit like that. With everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. It means the fucking world to me. I absolutely love you guys. Hopefully I'll be coming to a city near you soon. Fucking love you guys. Mwah.